Hi, I'm Isabel. I am the associate video producer for harpersbazaar.com. By day and by night, I run a YouTube channel all about sustainable living. So my style basically consists of vintage pieces and vintage inspired styles. So I really love classic silhouettes, timeless pieces that kind of stand the test of time. So about two years ago, I woke up one day and I decided that I was going to rid my life of plastic. And for two years, I have been successfully at zero waste. Back in college, when I originally started this zero waste journey of mine, I was trying to find different affordable ways for me to dip my toes into sustainable fashion. So I started thrifting a lot. And as much as people say that LA thrifting is amazing, New York vintage is definitely up there. My shoes are vintage Steve Madden and I got them from my absolute favorite curated vintage store in New York City. It's called The Break Vintage. And they are a delicious dark brown leather color. They have a square toe and a thick walkable heel. They're the classic shoe you need to have in your closet. I got my jeans from ThreadUp and I love shopping on ThreadUp now because as a grown adult woman I don't really have the time or patience to go to Goodwill or Salvation Army and sift through a bunch of horrible fast fashion stuff. So I go on ThreadUp and I can thrift online that way. I've been really into the silhouette recently. I'm kind of over skinny jeans and low rise jeans so if they ever come back you can count me out. I got this belt when I was thrifting in LA. It's just a classic belt that I constantly throw on. This sweater is vintage, it's 100% wool and extremely warm, so I throw it on all the time. These kind of rich, earthy tones have been my go-to for the season, I just love them right now. This coat has an extremely special place in my heart because it is from my mom's Etsy shop called Vintage Point Store, and it is full of the most beautiful curated vintage furniture, home decor, and clothing. So she got me this coat and I'm completely obsessed with it. It's a beautiful cream color. It is a cashmere and silk blend. So it is super soft and it keeps me so warm because it goes all the way below the knee. So my love of old used things is not original to just me. My parents have been doing this my entire life. So my dad actually got me this amazing vintage Dooney and Burke briefcase bag. It's my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. I only take it out for special occasions. My dad told me that he found this in a garage sale for about $5 because it was totally dirty, almost completely black. And he refurbished the whole thing for me and it looks almost brand new. My rings are super special to me. I kind of collect them as souvenirs every time I'm in a new town or a new city. I love to go to local thrift stores or local vintage shops and pick myself out a new ring for my collection. So I love filling all my fingers with special little rings like that. These earrings are also for my mom's Etsy shop. I think they add a really beautiful pop of color to match with my bag in this outfit as everything else is super neutral and kind of toned down. They also have that vintage look that I love. It's the perfect amount of grandma inspiration I like to take with me every day. So I think sustainable fashion is extremely important regarding environmentalism and climate change and all that stuff because it's one of the major polluters on this world. So I think being mindful with purchases, not buying things you don't need, and trying to buy pieces that are already in the waste cycle, so ideally secondhand is the best thing you can do. Aside from the environmental aspect of it, I think it's really important to recognize the ethical factor to it too. Lots of people forget that there are still real people, primarily women, which I think is an important distinction to make actually physically making your clothing in horrible working conditions. So trying to be mindful about supporting companies that align with your values and also buying vintage is the best way for you to cultivate a more sustainable wardrobe. And now, can you guess how much this look costs? My name is Jenny. I run a YouTube channel based around sustainability, lifestyle, fashion, etc. I would definitely describe my style as kind of just the comfortability of my pieces. I like to buy classic pieces that are super comfortable to wear and then I'll mix in little fun pieces here and there that are usually second hand. So when I moved to New York for fashion school, I just really realized that most of the industry I didn't feel I aligned with, which is when I really started to delve into sustainable fashion. This was about three and a half years ago. Since then, I decided to completely cut off any of my fast fashion purchases and also just take a look at my overall general consumption. And that's when I realized that there was so much that I didn't need to buy. And being able to choose where you 
buy from is definitely a privilege, but I think we can all kind of reflect on our own choices and see in ways that we can improve, even if they're small improvements, it's still better than doing nothing. And there is kind of a responsibility on consumers and also holding corporations accountable, which I think is really important to realize. And if you're able to make different choices, I highly encourage it. My shoes are probably my favorite piece that I'm wearing. I recently got them in a thrift store in Norway. As I was walking on the rest of the trip, the heels started to fall off. So I ran into what I thought was an office store and found some glue really quickly and glued them back on and they've been perfect ever since. So for my pants, this is probably the tightest pair of jeans that I own. I was looking for a dark navy blue pair with kind of contrasting lining and I found these on the Real Real for probably one sixth of the price of what they retail from the brand Creatures of Comfort. So that was a really good steal and I love them so much. My belt is probably my most worn clothing item. I wear it almost every single day and I thrifted it back home in Colorado about four years ago. My little ribbed t-shirt I have underneath here is from the brand by Senia, which I got off of Lee Collective, which is a really cool website that has a curation of ethical and sustainable brands and it'll tell you what every piece is made from and if it's made under conditions such as women in power, things like that, which I think is really cool. My cardigan underneath here is really special as well. I just got this in Copenhagen and it's this very soft, non-itchy cashmere, which is ideal. And then for my liner, I've had this for about three years. I got it on eBay for about $15. It's a vintage military liner. My turquoise rings are my favorite. One is my grandma's and the other one was recently given to me by my sister. She lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico for Christmas. So I love them both. My necklace is from Garbage NYC, which is one of my friend's brands. It's using recycled metals, which I think is really cool, and it's a cowboy hat, so it kind of reminds me of home. My earrings, I was drooling over these earrings for months, and they are by the designer Luini. She's a Puerto Rican designer, and the materials are also recycled metals, which I think is really cool, but I just feel like every day needs a little bit of sunshine maybe and they just make me feel really special when I wear them. Like I said, I love to add just some fun little accessories. These barrettes are one of my favorite finds. They're little fish, so it's like they're swimming in your hair, which I think is kind of fun. And I got them off of Depop. My bag is also from Lee Collective, which they sell vintage as well. I love this bag. It's the perfect size because it fits all the way around my shoulders so I can wear it day to night, which is perfect. And my water bottle is absolutely my most important accessory. I never leave the house without it. And I recently put some fun ABBA stickers on it, so now I love it even more. My biggest tip on lessening your consumption is truly, no matter where you're shopping from, is buy less and use it for longer. We can't really buy ourselves into sustainability, but we can not use as much, which I think is the most important mindset that you'll have to switch. I started with thrifting personally. It allowed me to continue shopping because I do love fashion and that was kind of my gateway into this world and a lot less money than even shopping at fast fashion retailers. Sustainability has definitely rolled over into the rest of my life in so many different ways. I just feel like all around I feel I'm more conscious of what my impact is as an individual. And now can you guess how much this look costs? Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine Rose and by day I'm a video editor and by night I am a content creator. So I would say my personal style is comfortable, casual, and I love to wear basic pieces and mix them in with like really cool fun pieces just to tie the whole look together. So my shoes are from Converse and they were actually a gift from my husband because he knows I like to wear really comfortable sneakers so thanks hubby. All right, so my jeans I actually got from the thrift store and it's actually from Everlane, which is a really good brand. They have some awesome jeans and I love black jeans. So when I saw them, I like grabbed them quick fast. So I would say thrifting comprises like 50% of my wardrobe. A lot of the times I really try to stay away from fast fashion. So thrifting is really the best way for me to get the most out of my look without like spending a whole lot of money and you can find so many unique and original pieces at the thrift store and like it's 
like probably one of my favorite places to shop. So my top is Reformation. I really, really love animal print and whenever I can, I try to incorporate animal print into my wardrobe. I really love how the colors really complement my skin tone and so I think it's perfect for fall. So my coat is from Vogue Couture and I actually found out about this brand on Instagram. I actually own two of their coats, one in black and this one in this gorgeous eggplant color. I really like this brand because they like to use a lot of recycled materials in their outerwear pieces. So my bag is from Angela Roy and I really love their luxury vegan pieces. They make limited quantity bags which is great because it reduces the amount of overstock. On top of my passion for sustainable fashion, I'm also a vegan and cruelty-free beauty blogger, so I try to be mindful on what brands I support, and I try to do that in all aspects of my life, whether it be with food, clothing, or makeup. And now, can you guess how much my look costs? <laughs> 